Where am I at here? Hello again, everyone. Think, Saga. Use the case board to make sense of it. And welcome back to Alan Wake 2. I think we've seen this before in the last episode. What is this? Who are you? Yeah, we've seen this. Let's get back to where we were. This is where we were. So optional. Alex Casey? Investigate the How? previously followed area. Am I still Hmm. Is this the dark place? No, it can't be. Be quiet, Alan. I got out. I got shit too here. Around. With the flooding gone, could be further clues out there. Yeah. The flooding disappeared very suddenly. I wonder if there's any connection to the overlap. To Nightingale. Um, there doesn't seem to be anything here. Was this area all around here, Floodied? I, I need another minute. Cauldron Lake. I thought I'd never see this place again. Take your time. But you should know these woods aren't the safest. Not seen anything yet. Yeah. Maybe under uh, here? It's getting dark. You want a flashlight? It's not okay, safe, it seems to be way smoother than the last time I played it. I remember the frame rate dropping around Cauldron Lake. What's this? Aww. Poor little thing. Didn't we see that at the start of the game? I feel like that was the one on the picture. That was half in the water and half out. I don't see anything here. Was this part bloodied? It was indeed. I think we found something here. Surely. By the way, I am absolutely loving this game. I just don't like the little investigation parts. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm not having fun the with the investigation. Sculpture. Is that it? Or are we crouching under here now? It's a crouch. Oh, I just walk into it and she does it all for me. That's great. Pretty sure I pressed CTRL when I climbed under the last one earlier. What's this? Box. What do you mean locked? Is that uh, the cult of the tree symbol on it? Open it. Oh, damn. Oh, I like that. Notes and ammo. I hell like that. Looks like they're tools of the trade. What was that? I don't know. What I picked up there. More space? Now we can carry quite a bit. There's a note here. The cult doesn't see their victims as people. Remember, they look like us, but they aren't. They're like animals, and it's our job to hunt them and gut them. Right, okay. Let's escape. So what did I pick up just there? Hand flare? Propane tank? Throwable gas canister? Detonates when shot, inflicting heavy damage to anything nearby. I shall try and remember that I have that in my possession. Here, so. There was another path somewhere, wasn't there? Is that a path going up to the right here? Yeah, where does this go? Plenty to investigate around here. Will this just take me back or something? By the way, the boss fight in the last episode was very, very tough, but very fun. Best part of the game so far. What have we got here? Nightingale in the Dark Place. It's a manuscript page. There it is. He'd been on the trail of the writer forever. The writer he despised. Hemingway, Bukowski, Wake. I'll get you. I'll find you. I'll make you pay. You're in over your head. He descended into the tunnels from the dark city, into the ocean of darkness. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. Something, a presence, rumbled. Not a train. Shadows shifted on the platform. The writer's cult waited for him there. The cult of the word. A cultist leaned close. I carry his words close to my chest now. You're not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. 
He'd be caught. Murdered. They got him. They didn't get him. He was reborn out of hate. He was there. But he was risen. Sent to find the light switch up from the lake that was not the lake. <laughs> what? We're still heading through here. Game has been saved. Let's look at the objectives. Investigate the previously flooded area. It's, it's still not ticked. So... I think we're still investigating it here. We can quick turn by pressing backwards twice. Oh cool. Are you telling me I've got to run off here? Is that why you've told me that? Oh, we're back here? What's that about? I think I missed something there, you know. That's unfortunate. Oh, damn. Um, no. Don't make me kill... They're making me kill wolves, everyone! Even the animals are turning into monsters. Shit, I wanted to use a flare there, but... I didn't get time to put it on. Have I still got the flare gun? Don't think I have, have I? That's a healy pack. Yeah, let's stick with the handgun for now. I think that had darkness on it, by the way, that I should have got off first. The table. Ooh, with a box by. Who's breathing? Stop that breathing. Okay, now I can interact, now I've got rid of the notice below. Is this another manuscript? Saga beans away the dark substance. It is a manuscript. Back at Witch's Ladle, Saga pointed the flashlight at the strange dark substance. The same substance Nightingale had left at the morgue. There was something hidden under it. She strained to see. The opposite of sunspots in her eyes. Blacker than black. Suddenly a change. The light reacted to the substance. A feedback loop surging up her arm. Saga squeezed the flashlight, willing it to penetrate the dark matter. Burn it away. Right. What's that? There's nothing in there? Flipping wind up. What about the red box? The red boxes have always got stuff in. I see yellow arrows as well. You're gonna take me to a secret? What did I just pick up there? Shotgun ammo? Pretty sure that's what I picked up. Okay, let's follow the yellow arrows. Well, here? Here? What is that? Streamside stash key? What? Where am I using that? Where is this stash? Hmm. I'm still hearing that breathing down there somewhere, by the way. Don't know what it is. The cult is leaving supplies Ooh. around for themselves. Now it's mine. I know what's inside. Is there some reading there? I should now? take a look around for a way to open this thing. I've got a key. Right there. That's the one. The cult is watching right now. Let's take the flare. The shotgun ammo. And whatever that was. I think it was a healing pad. Yep, the cult is watching right now. Is there anything else to do around here? Yeah, we can go down here. Towards where the breathing is, I think. Well, where the breathing was, it's stopped now. See a bridge here. Where's this going? Streamside, Cauldron Lake. What's that? Camera? Camera set up here. There's something written here. A poem? Or a riddle. 
There's a lot of stuff going down here. A little that? clothespin doll. Clothespin doll? Perfect weird souvenir for Logan. And there's a riddle, did she say, here? Reminds me of the nursery rhymes I read to Logan when she was little. Let's have a look. One beard for light, two for darkness, three beards for a flight, four for a struggle, five beards for injury, six for misery, seven for the ending, whatever it may be. What? Okay. One beard for the light. So one goes on there. Something wow. feels different. I should look around. What just happened? What feels different? I don't get it. I'm just freaking out now. Oh, where'd that come from? Cute. It'll go great on the bracelet Logan made for me. Huh. Attack stagger enemy. Strange. Gotta keep an eye out for more of these rhymes. More of them. So we put that on. There's a lot happening at the moment. I'm just trying to get my head around it bit by bit. Let's continue up this way. I can hear enemies, I think. Uh huh. I don't know if there's any closer on the left here. I have no idea. These guys are tough as nails, man. I've got to try and keep shooting them in the face. Oh, that, that's pissed somebody off. I think they're up there somewhere. Ah, uh, can't forget the dolls. What? Might where? Need them again. Is she saying that because she's seen a doll or what? I don't know. Ah. Whoa. Yeah, the enemies are really strong. Ooh. Got some ammo back. Appreciate that. Well, I didn't expect to see all this. In the area that was submerged underwater before. Did not expect it at all. Oh, what? Shortcut key? What about the stash key? No? Shit! Have I missed something then? Back there? Or is there something up there for it? I don't know, let's have a little look around here again first. Because I swear there was a little turning here. Yeah, we can go up here. Oh. Oh, she can climb up. I thought that was a dead end there. Let's see what we've got. What? Witchfinder Station? What the hell is this? Is there another doll another around here? One of those rhymes. Oh, what the hell? The hero brave and strong Left home to right a wrong From the woods came the wolf so greedy and hungry That he ate what he found In the house without a host the hero returned to find she'd lost the thing she loved most. Right. Exit. Is that a doll around here then, somewhere? I haven't got any here. I'm hoping there's going to be one inside here. It's open. Which is a big surprise. What's that sound? Just makes a sound when I walk off. Right, there's gotta be something in here. A tad bit. Ooh. Ammo. Ammo? No. Computer here? I need a password. 2547? We're in. Dr. Marmont and Dr. Marmont. Here is the promised update on the project's first experimentations. 
The test items were plastic animal figurines, teddy bears, toy cars, baby dolls. The iconographic nature of the test items was hypothesized to be beneficial for these research purposes. Test results negative. I will continue testing with more advanced items and scenarios. No response from you is necessary. Dr. Eugene Campbell, PhD. Project Nursery Rhymes, working title. I have received your favourable view of my project proposal. Thank you. I need not remind you that my academic as well as recreational expertise in mythology, folklore and writing will indeed lend the needed credibility to the project in both leading it and creating the testing material. Dr. Eugene Campbell. Rest easy, buddy. Oh, that was a real one, was it? Poor animal. Slaughtered for a bloody trophy. Makes me fucking sick, it does. Door here. It's a little shitter that I cannot flush. That reflection is piss poor. Reminds me of a game I played the other day called Mirror Mirror, where they nailed the reflection. And that was a little indie creation. Objective. Research into the reality altering effects discovered in the Cauldron Lake area, utilising fiction and art as a source, and then manifesting the results into existence. The FBC's intent in this research project is to experiment with nursery rhymes, hereafter referred to as fiction, in an attempt to recreate the conditions under which the writing would become reality. The hypothesis is that there are two ways in which fiction affects reality, either by reflecting events that have come to pass, but that are not known to their late creator, whose act of creation therefore becomes the catalyst for these past events, after which they serve as the resource of their own inspiration. You know what, I can't be bothered to read all this. I keep stuttering and shit. If you want to read this, pause the screen now and read away. Get out of it. I'm not feeling the reading today at all. I've checked all this shit. Another camera here. Hang on a minute. There's a doll. Is it? Hero doll. Wolf doll. Plenty of dolls in here. What does this say? Test sites in Cauldron Lake. Witchfinder Station. Streamside. And Cauldron Lake Rental Cabins. Is that where all the nursery ram things are at then? Should we check the backyard actually? Just go straight through into the backyard. See if there was anything around here. Oh. There's another room that I haven't looked in yet? It is. With some reading again. Tip of the day. When nature calls on a hike, check the direction of the wind before answering. Observations. Hikers have broken off branches in some of the trees down by the lake to make an illegal fire. Tried to fix some of the damage. Doused the area. Maybe put up some instructional signs. I also found some tracks I couldn't recognise. Pretty big. A wolverine? Or footprints that were smeared? Either way, they were wandering around in strange patterns. Might be a sick animal. We'll need to keep an eye out. Poem of the day. The sun, as she sleeps. Known not the woes of men. Who toss and turn, and worry and fret. And wish they had her blissful slumber. Observations. Pick up a bunch of trash left by tourists. Despite posted guidance, humans are the worst. Thought of the day, every majestic pine was once just a wee acorn. Observations. A lot of new growth in the area. Some of the saplings I planted earlier are really thriving. Must be all this rain. I don't mind it either. Great sounds to sleep to. It's amazing what a good night's rest and a warm cup of tea can do. Nothing in the backyard then, it seems. Just a lot of shrubbery. Well, hmm, let's go see if we can do anything with these dolls. What did this one say again? The hero, brave and strong, left home to fight a wrong. From the woods came the wolf so greedy. Right, so... That's got to be the wolf doll. On the woods. But where is the hero going? Brave and strong, left home to right a wrong. There? On the ship? Of course. He left him on the ship. I have a weird feeling something's changed. 
It did, right there. What is this? Footprints. Some kind of wolf. This is ridiculous. She's not wrong. This is fucking ridiculous. Why did they stop there? Oh, they don't stop there. They go around here. Up the stairs we go. Am I going to get attacked here by a bloody wolf? Oh shit. Oh shit. Stop copying off me. Am I supposed to be. It looks like it's got the darkness on it. Never mind. Another charm for my bracelet. What? Why are we finding these charms? Hang on. No, I didn't want that. Look at the charm. Saves you from death, but shatters in the process. I'm not going to put that on yet. We only get to use that once. Is that it then now? I feel like that's it. We did all this for some bloody charms. That's why it's optional. It, it, it's not really part of the story, is it? Although I have found a few extra clues along the way. Which is nice. Can I have them back? Oh, I can have them back. I should have got the first one back as well that I used. Shit. Okay, you know what? Let's go back. If I can find that other doll, then great. If not, then screw it. Let's just we've reached the car, Anderson. How's move it going on. down there? I think I'm done here. I'll meet you at the parking lot. It's crossed off. Cool. So I have done it then. Did I see that before? Don't think I did. It's a manuscript here. Yeah? yeah, the murder sites. An overlap of the dark place needed a push from both directions to manifest itself. Reality in our world eroded by repeated dark lore tied to a location and a counterpoint. A work of art, a horror narrative crafted in the depths of the dark place, connecting to the story on the other side to reach out through the weakened veil. A story of a lawman whose heart was cut out of his chest. Two corrupt men killed by their own twisted ambition. A haunted old woman drowned in a bathtub. Twisted reflections on the other side of the mirror. Arcs stabbing through realities, amplifying the influence of the dark place. These elements working in conjunction made a trickle that became a torrent, a wormhole, a vortex, and the art, the map, became the nightmare territory where the dark place encroached on our reality, a blanket over it, where they all overlapped, causing reality to twist and loop like a bad dream, remolding anything and anyone within its dark horror design. Sounds very interesting, I must say. I've got a clue as well about, I'll be honest. Not a frigging clue. Enemies. I see enemies. Let's go fuck them up. Hi! Just the one, is it? <laughs> the face! Wait, I shot that sucker in the face. And again, I killed him. <laughs> I love the aiming on this game. Keyboard and mouse is feeling great. <sighs> yeah, I can't find my way back to that... Um, the first location where I used the doll. Don't think I'll be needing it anyway, so... Let's see if I can find my way back here. Warning. Activity detected. A-W-E. Event in progress. Cauldron Lake. What's an A-W-E? That's a good question. Casey, what exactly does the FBC do? <laughs> I started looking for our friend here. Their name came up. I pushed them for any files they had on him, but got stonewalled. They have a reputation of showing up for weird shit. They have a presence here, and now we find our writer. Hmm. How about that? The FBC. <clears throat> Dodgy bastards.
Which way am I going here? Let's go this way. Wish I had somebody with me to show me the way back. Leave this optional one was a bad idea. I think we've made it. Here he is. Let's go. Ready to go? Mm-hmm. No, I don't. I keep pressing E to interact. I think it's telling me to press one there. It is. Mr. Wake, we're taking you back to our field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up there, and then we'll talk properly. My question is, is that the real Alan Wake there? Because the Nightingale that came out of the lake, he wasn't the real Nightingale. Before you see anything, I'm totally fine. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No one texted me. What's going on? I'm totally fine. I slipped. That's all. God, it's not the end of the world. Put your father on the phone. Um, okay. Dad, it's Mom. Don't worry, hun. Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but I'm keeping an eye on her. Lucky I heard her fall. She could have drowned. Jesus, David. Why didn't you call? I tried. It didn't go through. She's fine, really. But what about you? You sound stressed. No, it's uh, just a weird case, that's all. Well, if you need a hint, my years of board game victories tell me Colonel Mustard did it. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye out for him. <laughs> Love you, Dave. Love you too, honey. Wanna say bye to Logan? Just tell her I love her. Bye for now. Why do they keep drinking at the same time? <laughs> it's so hard, but I love that. to reach out to, Mr. Wake? You've been gone a long time. No. No. They'd be in danger. It'll come for me. Okay. Let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale. Do you know him? You were both here in 2010. The Dark Presence got him back then. That's the last time I saw him. Thirteen years. Oh, fuck me. Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently. But your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> scratched out. Yeah. Scratch. Did you write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember. It's... It's... It's a crazy jumble, like a... Like a nightmare. I, it doesn't... It doesn't make sense.
show tonight? Waking up in places with no memory of how I got there. It was out of control. I didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. Had I already done the show? Was that a recording? Is, is the show finished? No problem. I'm happy. Hang on. I'm happy to be playing as Alan Wake, by the way. I felt a strange pull toward the TV. Yeah, I know what to do. I'm just looking around first. Let's get sucked into the TV. Good to see you, Alan. Uh, this must be an exciting time for you. Tell me, does it ever get old? So does what get old? Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. <laughs> so bizarre. Exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean really means. You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A an auto-fictional thought experiment? A, a, a horror story? A Postmodern detective story? Wait. This isn't right. I I haven't written anything. He's so humble. Okay, you got me. Good prank, very funny. But yeah, I sad to say, I, I I've not written this. I, I'd remember if I'd written a book, right? Or maybe it was written by your evil double. Well played, looked at him there. That is spot on. <laughs> Playing the role here. Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own. That's very meta indeed. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake, who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger and guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written. That's right, Alex Casey is in this book as well. Uh, I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. But isn't that what you sign up for with auto fiction? No, but seriously, I found the, uh, the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. It reminded me of The Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there and he projects himself out to this dark dream of new york through the story he is writing uh, like astral projection did i get that right yeah that's exactly right go on i should be taking notes here this is great stuff notes to that other alan wake in that room writing this as we speak are we all in your story alan No, I, I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this Hero's Journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. <laughs> Man, thank you for one of the strangest interviews of... My entire career, Alan. All this talk of meta narratives. I have to expect them to disappear once this scene ends.
I didn't expect that. Some real people doing real acting Hello. in a computer game. The guy that acted I'm as something's not right here. I'll awake there. I needed to get home to Alice. That's the right face. He does. The guy that they use there. He really has the right face. So, yeah, we were just here talking with this guy. The lights went out. Let's go have a look down here. Any people left? No? Everybody's gone. Okay, let's go through the open door with the bright light. What the hell was that interview? Some kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad dream. Could make a good horror story. <laughs> Don't mind me, everyone. Just seeing if I can find anything in the darkness. I can't, though, so I'll just carry on. This way. And out of the exit. Oh, there's a door to try here. Let's go in here. I was a mess. I had never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? What's this? My interpretation of many worlds. Dr. Casper Darling. Don't think that's going to help Alan Wake. Is that it? Come in here just to look at that book. Interesting. Let's go back out and out of the exit. Something's telling me I'm not getting out of here though. Hey! I think because I've been locked in! That's there. Anybody! Fuck. Now I have to find the code myself. Great! Bloody great. great. Old Gods of Asgard. This is a band room. Old Gods of Asgard. That name sounded familiar. Yeah, it's those two guys from the first game. 665. Is that it? How many digits did we need? And we are out of here. I think. Is the exit actually the exit? Doesn't look like it. It was something here. A broken transmission I couldn't quite make out. What was that? A message? Oh, impossible to say. Something else we saw in the first game. I'm glad they've kept them in. I liked them. I think here to interact with Will. Through the exit then. Come on now. Is this where Alan Wake has been for 13 years doing this shit? In the lake? Aha, uh -huh. this has just opened up. It's a bloody mess, this place is. Well, there was something in the studio with me. I had to get out. What? I need a weapon if there's something in here. Open, please. Oh, come on now. It's here. The guy. This is the ritual to ritual. The ritual? Waking up from the nightmare, I felt like a drowning man gasping for air. This place felt familiar. A ghost of a memory surfaced, about writing here for countless days. A plot board for mapping out a story. On the index cards, the nightmare that just happened to me. A summary of the story so far. But other notes as well. Warnings. I had written them. I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. I could trust these words. I had to act on them. You must write to escape. The name Scratch? Talking about the name Scratch. 
Waking up to a nightmare. Whoa, 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 whoa. Part one, late night. Read me. Beware, scratch. Alice. At the talk show, I had thought I was home in New York, but none of it had felt right. I was trapped in the dark place, a nightmare beyond our world. The writer's room was my safe more. The writer's room was my safe haven. My writing affected what was outside. I was trying to write a story to escape this place. The story is called Initiation. With the story I wrote, I projected myself out to look for a way to escape. I had tried many times. Failed. This place made me forget. Everything Dor had said had felt true. Was that part of my writing or coming from somewhere else? The dark place trapped. You must try to escape. I had to keep writing. Yeah, let's get out of that. So he's got a writer's room instead of a mine place. Let's keep writing. Like I'm watching an episode of the Twilight Zone at the moment. Thank you. Oh, you're too kind. Welcome back. Uh, we have a great show for you here tonight. We'll treat all you Alex Casey fans out there. Alex Casey himself is here tonight. That's right. <laughs> Alex Casey? The actor who has given his face to the famous detective in the film series. And of course, we have Alan Wake here. That's a writer of books, the films are based on. Let's do this! So I've got to find a way out of the talk show studio. Let's go back in then. Welcome back to the show. So, Alan, as the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? I know it can be an awkward question with the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? He looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. And he looks like the FBI. It's uncanny. Vision. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because. On more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I, I, I feel protective about my stories and these adaptations. I, I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well, in that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Case. Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. <laughs> this city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain slick window, my own reflection haunting the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp shaped like an angel. The only thing to shed light on this sordid mystery. Hell of a trailer. That's great. Murder case, Casey. <laughs> Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. 
Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? <laughs> this is fucked up. And we're back again. Oh man. Back through the same place then? Oh, I can run now. Couldn't run earlier. Do I just go the same way every time here or what? Man ain't opening again. It's good to be the same result over and over again, isn't it? That same thing there, yeah. We try this. The door opens, gives me the code. Is it 665 again? No, it's not. So that's something that's different. Oh! Freaking hell, Alan! Fucking scared me. Neighbor of the Beast, 665. Whoa. I've just tried 665. It's saying 565 now. I think it's saying 565, you know. The way it's flashing like that. Five, six, five. Let's go. We can get out of this looping mess. Nothing through the TV this time. We're gonna end up back in the same place. Am I doing something wrong here? Same thing's gonna happen again, isn't it? No? We're in this time. Hello? Who's humming away? evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. <laughs> good to see you. I'm looking for the exit. Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> of course, Tom. The work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> um, what's in what the basement? What do you want me to get from the basement? A and my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got up a man. A man, but a man with a tool makes two, Tom. Egoni. <laughs> and a man with a tool can build his own exit. It's in a soup box in the basement where you left it. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. I love how he talks. I'm sorry, have we met? Have we met before? Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Ahti, the janitor. You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Just remember to turn on the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. Do you know how I can escape? I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mouths about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. But don't you worry, Tom. The home is still there where the heart is. I often think about it when I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. The janitor was a bit out there, but still a friendly face. Yeah, I, like I had to trust the basement would get me out of here. 
<laughs> it talks a lot of shit, but I like him. I wonder what's in the shoebox. Toilet's here. Right out then. Can you use the hand dryer? No? Not much happening on that side of the bathroom. What about here? No? Okie dokie. Thought there might have been a secret there. Right then. Through here then. Map. Be accessed by returning to the writer's room. Did I just press N? Uh huh. That's a huge map. Right there. Body huge. Right. That's where I want to be. In between with Mr. Door. I'm not doing well with the map. Really not doing well with the map at all. I'm going this way. Yeah, and then take a right turn. There. There we go, unlock that with the janitor's key. And finally I'm on my way. It's kind of dark down here. pointing over there. It's telling me to go that way, isn't it? Maybe we need to go around. A talk show host? Good evening. A writer trapped in a dream world attempts to write a story to shape reality around him and escape. He is beset by visions leaking in from realities beyond his own. He uses those visions as inspiration for his stories in hopes of giving them power to make them come true. Us, hidden few, know that ultimately he will succeed. But before that, many of his stories collapse back into the stuff that dreams are made of to remain as they began, works of fiction. And yet, maybe there is a gleam of truth to be unearthed from these tales. A rare glimpse into the unseen realities beyond our own, offering us intriguing avenues of contemplation as they transpire in the night spring. <laughs> that was friggin' cool. Night Springs television tab. Okay. I do like the TVs in these games. This way. Ah, oh, what's the blight? An old lamp and a shoebox. Oh. Was this what the janitor had left for me? Let's grab it. The lamp felt significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. How does it work? It's got no cable coming from it. It should be plugged in, right? I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. Use angel lamp to move lights and create a way forward. Why has he suddenly got a bag now? Where did that come from? Nothing else here? Whoa! When the light jumped into my lamp, the whole room changed. Like something in a dream. Opening a way forward. The lamp was humming. The bulb glowed. It held the light now. Huh? Can I put it back? I can. Okay. I gotta put this light somewhere else? I don't know. I felt another surge from the lamp. I could use it again. What, here? The glow in the lamp went out, shifting the light in the room. I hear that the was good. carved out something new from the darkness. Now I'm on the other side. Whoa. I like this. 
That's an exit there, but there's something around here, is there? No? Okay, let's go for the exit then. Surely this is the way out for Alan Wake here. With this light. Light is the way. Open. I needed to find another way out. What? It says push bar to open? This way then, yeah. We're going to be using this light as a weapon as well? Probably. I don't think we can jump through there, can we? Well. So we just run into the doors then, he does that. Yeah, I think that's the best thing to do. Yeah, we're using the lights. The dark place wants to drown me. I'm losing myself. I have to fight it. I have to remember the clicker. The light switch. The clicker. I lost it, but I have the lamp now. The lamp the switch was cut from. This place is a nightmare. Not real and yet more real than anything. The danger and the horror are real. It feeds off my mind. Twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. I'm trapped here. I write to escape. I've tried this many times. Written countless stories. Forgotten how many. I keep failing. But I must keep trying. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral in the darkness. I dive to the body to find the answer, the, the map, and the key, and the compass. It's combined to form a door leading out. But how do you open a door that's not a door? At the bottom of an ocean, it's not an ocean, and a lake. That's not a lake. End of part. Let's carry on. I'm on my holidays, so let's do this. Get as much as we can done of this game today. Find a way out of the talk show studio. Can I take that light back? Wait. Can I... Why is the shoebox there? I've got to put it back? What? Is this what I've got to do? No, I think I've got to leave that light behind. Not sure why it's asking me to interact with that. Can't put anything in there. Not yet anyway. Let's go around here. Can't get it back through there. Right, I think we've escaped anyway. The payphone was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me. This one. Hello? Hello, Wake. Yes. Do you know who I am? No. Who is this? We'll get to that later. There are spies all over. Shadows. A sense of deja vu washed over me. Had I had this conversation before? Alan, listen to me carefully. Caldera Street Station, the subway. You need to go there. I'll call you again later. Make sure to pick up. Do I know you? I, I know you from somewhere. You've just forgotten again. We're in this together. Don't worry. I got it now. We've been working. Great. I I'm losing you. Hello? Hello? Boy pass. Come on, Alan, let's get out of here, dude. Casey, initiation two. Right. So I've got a subway pass. Man I think that's good. Caldera Street Station. I had to go there. Yeah. That pass is going to help me get through there. Question is though, where in the blue hell is that? Have I got a map of the outside here? Nope. 
undiscovered. Can I not use that lamp anymore? I don't think I can. There's a TV screen over there though. I see that in the distance there. What? What? There's creatures around here. Just some shadow figure standing there. Looked me back. Fuck. Okay. Hiya. For me, just passing through. Shadows stirred like there was someone there, but there was no one. Whoa. Okay. I wanted to keep it that way. I love how it looks around here. By the way, we're never out of your way. The Caldera Street station sign was there, but the entrance was missing. I had to make it appear. Maybe I could use the lamp to reveal the station entrance. The lamp was dead in my hand. I needed to find a light for it. Yeah, I thought I'd found one there. But it's too flickery. What's that? Ooh, map. I'll take that, thank you. What's this over here? Is this my light? I reckon so. Please don't be locked. It's locked. It was locked it from the other side. Wait. Can I get in there? Through here? No? Oh. Hang on. Hang on a minute. Wait, what the fuck? What was the point in that? Oh, come on now. Gotta make my way around, haven't I? All the way around. What about down here? Please be open. What's that? I've just found some bullets. I haven't got a gun yet, though. Oh, come on now! Be opened on this side. That's the only way to the light. This is the other side. Lots of light there. Let's see if I can grab it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Chill. Oh damn! If one of these shadow guys attacks me, I will not be happy. on the page. What the hell? Is that Alex Casey? Oh, hey. We met at Door's show. Alan Wake, the writer. I'm Alex Casey. I'm looking into a murder. Come on, what... What is this? There's a piece of evidence, a manuscript of a novel. You wouldn't know anything about it? A manuscript? What manuscript? I need to see it. Rumor had it the manuscript contained the details of the murders. A murder cult was following the story to commit their gruesome acts. Was Wake their leader? Had he written it? How far would he go to create a perfect work of art? Or would he be the next victim? Where did that light go? I want it. eat. Well, there goes Alex Casey. I'm not going down there, am I? Casey! Damn it. 
I had to follow Casey. Yeah, I'll get his I weapon. That I remember dying in this alley in the dream I had. He was just gonna keep killing me here. Loop by loop. You're not gonna get what you want. You think you know. You know shit. You don't really wanna know. You're gonna get what's coming to you. Sorry, dude. Sorry. Can I pick this up now, please? Thank you. I got a torch. What about the weapon, though? Yeah, we dropped a gun as well. Finally! 40 shots in that! This was an echo of the books I had Hell yes! Years. Picking up Casey's gun felt like I was assuming the role of the detective. I had a go. Right now. I needed to get back to the subway station entrance. Oh, looky Shit. here, though. With the alley in darkness now, less the shadows. Oh, Whoa. So, no ammo required for them. I'm not sure if they were going to attack me, but they're all stood there in the way, so. Just be in them to avoid any kind of injuries. <laughs> They're gone. Is this one okay here? I don't know. This one I've all passed earlier. It seemed fine to me. That one is not though. Okay. I think the light just done its job. Until they didn't. They were trying to stop me. Wow. With the gun and flashlight, I could fight back. Yeah. Finally, I get to fight with Alan Wake. More of this shit here. Did I get it? Almost dead. There we go. I just let that up. Oh, I can go up there? Wow, what a mess. There was some more light somewhere. And I think I can get it now. There. I've just got to get over there, Fears. Actually, you know what? I don't think I am getting over there, am I? No. Oh, hang on. What's this for? Talk show is awfully popular, isn't it? Said me name then, that one did. But Alan Wake. Yeah, fuck out of here, boy. Why can't I? Oh, damn, I've got no torch left. I have no torch left. Let's go in if we can. Quick, quick, quick. There we go. I thought the torch was like a recharge kind of deal. Turns out it's not. Let's go in here. This is where I get to save the game. I don't know why the shoebox is here. Can I just store stuff in there? I reckon so. Got off that. Let's save it. F. Quick save. Yeah. Can I have some batteries? Ah, there's some batteries. One went straight into the torch. Come on, I don't want to use too much of my batteries. There we go. Hmm. What's that? Oh. Some ammo and batteries, yeah boy. Or those healing pads, I think. What's in here? Is this the way I'm supposed to be going? I bet it is. Open the door, Alan. You weirdo. Oh, is this for the... For the light?
Wait, what am I here? So confused. Isn't this the latch I'm trying to steal? It is. Oh, damn. Fuck me. Um, let's climb up here. Quick! This is freaking weird. What's this for? Oh, no, let's carry on. Hopefully there's a... Another ladder somewhere? A secret around here, and there is. Yes! What? What are you saying? Oh, it's there. <laughs> yes, we need this shit. This game's gotta be difficult. I just know it. Aim your flashlight at the spiral? What spiral? What are you talking about? That? Over and over. The words resonated with meaning. Had I written this? Possibly. Winter power can be used to make Wake stronger. You can assign them in the writer's room. Let's have a look. I got Weirds of War. Increased damage dealt by the last bullet in the revolver chamber by 25%. Paint the town increases double barreled shotgun damage by 25% when hitting multiple enemies with one shot. And this one restores 15% of max health when landing a direct hit with a flare gun. I'm going to go for that one. And hopefully I can keep getting multiple enemies. Whoa! Damn dude, just scared the fucking piss out of me. Oh, you're an actual enemy, are you? Ow. Ow. Reload, Alan. I did press reload, but he doesn't want to do it. Alan Wake does not like reloading. This game frustrates the shit out of me. He was like this in the first game, didn't like reloading. Yes, that's dead Alan Wake, thank you for that. Can we move on, please? What does this one do? How do I get to the subway? I can't find the fucking subway. Hello. Oh. Hey, Alan. You stuck up on me. What are you doing here? Sorry. Have we met? Memory problems again, huh? Yeah, we've met. Tim Breaker. We've shared notes. Hey, I've made some progress on the map, if you want to take a look. I still haven't found my mystery man, though. We're making, a map. making a map. Trying to. It's hard to map a dream, though. I keep ending up in unexpected places. I find interesting things like those strange markings that react to the light, but never the one thing that I'm looking for. Feel free to check the map out. Oh, I've been stockpiling supplies while I poke around. If you find a stash, take anything you need. I appreciate the help. What the hell is he doing here? I know he's not real, but why is he here? Ooh. Is that all you've got for me, dude? Just that and the map? Okay, so we got the dark place map. <laughs> well, that's my crazy wall. I'm just trying to make sense of things. Don't judge me. I'll trade you walls any day. Oh, what? I was at the morgue. I was about to give the evidence to the FBI. Door transported me here to this dream reality. Why? What? Who? Where? Why? Motive? Why me? Missing time, no memory until now. Have I always ended up here? Will I forget when I get out? Abducted? Aliens? Door? UFOs? Polyhedrons? Dreams, me, but not me. Others I know, yet they are different. The red-headed woman? What the fuck is going on here? Who's the mystery man? Who's this mystery man? Oh, it wouldn't be much of a mystery if I knew. All I have is a name. Warlandor. The talk show host? No. No, that doesn't sound like him. 
The guy has many disguises, but a talk show host? I'll keep looking. What's that was the name of the talk show house though. So I thought we'd found the way here everyone. Seems we haven't. See you around, Alan. See ya dude. There's ladders here. How did I not see them before? That is a stupid place for ladders though. Please tell me this is the way now. Align the echo by approaching it from a specific angle. What are you talking about? about Alex Casey for years. Something lingered here. A line from a half-forgotten story. The hell is all this? I'm finding lots of shit around here. But it ain't getting me anywhere. So, align the echo by approaching it from a specific angle. Ooh, oh, what the fuck? Monster, poised to tear into you the second you let your guard down. You thought you had it tamed. That you knew what the hell you were doing. Your last mistake. Unless you got lucky. And you didn't deserve to get lucky. You blinked at the wrong time. Let your mind wander. And the fire escape that was meant to be your getaway route was gone. It was never there at all. You'd gotten turned around somewhere along the way. The city was coming to finish you off, and there was nowhere left to run. Great. Just what I needed to hear, that is. Yep, that's me. One lost motherfucker. What changes he- Wait, is that the way down? That's the way down into the subway. Finally, we found it. find another light to go deeper inside. Need to find another light. Okay, let's just go get the other one back then that we used earlier. Because we don't need that anymore, do we? Back up here. That one over there. We'll take that with us. I said we'll take that with us, Alan. Why can't you be like Saga? Just do everything that I ask you. First time. I can't even reload the weapon, right? Very dark without the torch. Right. So where do we need this light? Oh. Here? Right here. Explore Caldera Station. Right, finally we're here. The gates to the platform were closed. I had a ticket. Yes. Let's use that ticket. And through we go. Something about the station platform felt significant. It would work in my writing, but I needed more. Okay. Something lingered here. A half-forgotten memory. An echo. Another one of those things there. Oops. There? There we go. agent had come here before me on the trail of a murder cult. He'd gone missing. Presumed dead. The cult was leaving me clues to follow, connecting the dots from one murder to the next, inviting me to draw an obscene picture on the city map. Caldera Street Station. The name made me think of the exit wound of a bullet. I had a flash of inspiration. The ghost of my fictional detective. A story thread I could use in my writing. You have discovered your first plot elements from an echo. You can rewrite it into reality on the plot board, of course. I had a location. I had a story thread. I would put them together, write them into my story to create a path deeper into the dark place. Just like that. Things clicked into place. The story rang true. I was making oh. progress. The dark place reacted to my story. 
the way into the tunnels was no longer blocked. What's that? The Fed had glimpsed into the maw of darkness. It swallowed him whole. Why is this painted on here? The tracks led into the tunnel. <laughs> that was my way forward. Well, let's go then. Put the torch on. There we go. We'll go a bit further into the station and then we will end the episode. Wake. The blood trail continued deeper into darkness. Can I get rid of these without using my boost? I don't know, let's go in here before we get ambushed. There we go. Boom. Oh damn. More blood smears. We're actually on the tracks now. Whoa! You bastard! Shit. What the hell was that? I don't like the sound of that. No, that sounded big, dude. Oh map, we love that. Was it through there that I was hearing that? Sounded like it was through there. Is around here anything? Nutting, of course. Let's go through the last door there. Very bright! That means there's a save, there is. I was going to end the episode, but I don't know, I can't peel myself away from this game. Really can't. Looks like that'll loop me, won't it? Oh, we can get on this train. Yeah, boy. Anything on here? I don't think so. Will it lead me somewhere, though? The tunnels were a maze. Yeah. The blood trail led me on. We're following that blood trail, aren't we? What? No charges? What do you mean? Initiation. Let's go in here. Collapsed tunnel. to use in this story. I needed to search the tunnels for further visions. Inspiration for the story that would lead me deeper. I had found another compelling location to use. There we go. I changed oh, the story. And with that, the dark place changed. Whoa. They had loved to be on his case. The cult can get you anywhere with that black magic shit. Let the day shift handle it. What happened, anyway? Some fed came looking for the cult, but it was a trap. A satanic blood sacrifice. Anyone who gets involved with the cult, they're next. I heard their leader is this famous writer, Alan Wake. No. Their unholy motherfucking messiah. Sounds like a load of bull. Yeah, a load of bull. Still telling me to look at the plot board? I don't want to. What's through here? This wasn't open earlier. I don't think it was, was it? I don't know. It's all becoming a blur now. Can we take this light? We can. Another echo lingered here. Whoa. A source of inspiration. Anything in here? No? What's that sound? Oh, let me go. Word is your research can help me, ma'am. What do you know? There's more than one urban legend about the cult of the word. The murder cult used these tunnels for their ritual sacrifices. They say the cult reenacted the murders in Alan Wake's crime books. That Wake was even involved somehow under a false identity, Mr. Scratch, which is, of course, a nickname for the devil himself. Mr. Scratch. It was disturbing finding myself in the story this way. And I was desperate, and it felt right for the story. I just cleared them out for nothing. I thought there might be something here. Bastards. Let's go through here then. Wake. No, got the wrong guy. This ain't Wake. Those guys are following me, you know. The federal agent had come here looking for answers. 
All we found was a fate worse than death. The blood trail disappeared under the rubble. I knew it. Something was waiting there. What a bet, bitch! In the face. So satisfying when you shoot them in the face like that. Melted away. I was alone. For now. Ooh. 25 shots left. I like that we've got these little bits of action in between. All this investigation. And the investigation with Alan Wake isn't quite as boring as it is with Saga. So that's something. Am I still doing something with this plot board? I had a new idea. A new story thread. Leader cults. I was making my way deeper into the story. I could imagine this murder cult performing their macabre acts beyond the collapsed tunnel. This is the What is this? The cultists laid the Casey novel onto the altar with reverence. A twisted Bible. These guys are crazy. Okay, so we're a little bit stuck here, everyone. I need to keep changing the environment so I can get through here. But I'm not sure what the layout needs to be like and where I'm even going with it all. Very confused at the moment and very miffed. So yeah, I'm going to leave this one here. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I will see you all next time.